what's good youtube welcome back to the channel today we have another anime figure haul video for you guys today i just got some new stuff in today and some stuff that i got from previous months that i've already opened but i'm just going to show you guys anyway um i have an mia from the channel as you guys know but you know i've been working getting my photography stuff going on and you know just taking a little break you know everybody needs a little break from you know everyday things that you normally used to doing so but we're back like we never left you know so make sure you guys hit the like button subscribe for someone new click the notification bell let's just jump straight into the video man all right so we got our first box here from amiyami just got it in 10 minutes ago let's see what we got going on in here Guessing this is for the month of June. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so here we have Cool Bar. From Yu Yu Hakusho, my favorite anime of all time. This is a 1 8 scale by, of course, Kotobukiya. This is actually like a re release. I've seen these. Let me get you guys a better look. Better look at the box. Sorry for the glare. But this is a re release, and I've seen these on uh, other sites like Solaris and all that, and they were, this cool bar was going for like $500, and I was like, yeah, you're tripping. But then I saw that they were re-releasing them for like, damn near nothing compared to what that price was. So I had to grab them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's get, let's get my boy open. And they even got him in his, uh, I, I forgot the name of this, uh, this outfit he wears. He wore in the uh, dark tournament. Can't call myself a fan if I don't remember the name, right? Been a minute since I rewatched it. Oh, this is fire. This fire. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Huh? Let me see if I can get that brightness a little bit, get a better look at them. Not bad, Not bad at all. Like it. Back of his jacket. That's hard. Spirit sword looking good. Mm -hmm. Like the details on his pants too. Gotta appreciate good shadow detail. You know Kotobuki is gonna knock it out of the park every time. You feel me? Why, but it's I don't know if this is just a part of the design, but I guess his hair looks that's really tough. Hair is like kind of like dirty and I don't know if it's not dirty, but it's just like a darker tone. Can't really explain.
but it's not bad. Also, thank you for making a base that just not like a plain base. Thank you, Kotobuki, for that, because some of you guys just be making these bases and they just be just so plain. I oh, mean, uh, the base is kind of weird, though. I mean, normally, uh, like a flat base would be. You know ideal this is more like you know like around it at the at the bottom kind of weird i don't know why they chose to do it like that but i guess but I mean, hey if he's not gonna fall i mean i'm not really worried too much. i guess he's still stable yeah cool bar second figure we got my boy Yusuke you know I had to get Yusuke before I even got thought of a cool bar come on now y'all know me by now come on now come on now he ain't playing I'm disrespecting my boy like that he fighting babies and all that you don't care you got the black Black Air Force is on, you feel me? Black bus downs. Nah, this is dope though. Again, Kotobuki a 1A scale. Same thing with the base. This is actually a little bit smaller than how cool Bars was. Cool Bars was like a little taller for whatever reason. I don't know. That's weird to me. I don't know why they got it like that, but they do. Looks good. Um, I was kind of on the fence with this figure because it doesn't really look like. I feel like they could have did a better job with this face, but I'm like, hey, this is a re-release. I highly doubt they're gonna make any more like different figures of you, Hawker Show. I don't know why they hone it like that, but it is what it is, I guess. Can't complain too much. Brightness down a little bit. Jacket comes off. No. We got the guns. Feel me? There you go. A little better. Get a little better. It actually moves too. I forgot about that. He also did come with. Ooh! Boo ninjas. Pop him on top of the head. Boom. Bit like a glove. Put his jacket back on. And you already know I've been had these already, so. You all set? Feel me? All right, yeah, that's Yusuke though. For the next figure, I got. I got this back in April. This is Urza. It's a little pop up parade from the Grand Magic Games. I know I love Urza, so anytime I can get an Urza in an OG outfit, I'm gonna grab it. You know? Swimsuit one is cool, but I'd rather just have her in her OG outfits. She has too many fits, anyways. Decent little pop-up. Again, it's a pop-up. I'm not really complaining too much about the base. I already know what to expect out of these. I just wish they kind of tried a little harder with this one. This one's just like hockey puck, you feel me? 
like I said, it's a pop up parade, so. It is what it is. It looks good, though. I say pop up parades are probably like the best prize figure you can get, in my opinion. For half the cost, you know? Can't go wrong. Also got something really, really cool, y'all. This, not a figure. Well, I guess it kind of is if you want to count it as a figure. It's actually piggy bank. And me and my brother CP, shout out to CP, watching, shout outs. But um, we went to the bookstore at the mall. You know, he needed to get some manga and all that. And I, for, in order for him to get some this discounted manga, you know, I needed to buy something, help him buy something. That's so. so when I went there, went in, went there with not intentions on getting any uh, manga, but uh, I ended up getting a uh, soda. Excuse me. So yeah, I went there on intentions of getting not in no intentions of getting any manga, but I saw this. And this is only twenty five bucks. Not a bad deal. This is pretty big. This is a piggy bank. I was like, this is cool as shit. I was like, damn, I, I gotta grab this. And I saw it, like I said, this is at a bookstore. I was kind of surprised. I was like, damn, ain't nobody grabbed this? I'm like, I'm taking this thing. Yeah, look at this. Cool as hell, man. The decent size, too. Pretty sturdy, like. No? Definitely a good, I don't know if you could find this on Amazon or, I don't know where exactly you could find it. You could pretty sure if you just search online, just look up UG Sidori Piggy Bank. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it somewhere online. But like I said, I found it at a bookstore, 25 bucks, so that's a steal. But yeah. Shout out to the book, uh, I don't, don't want to plug them because, you know, they don't give me no money. Shout out to them though. UG Sidori. There ain't no money in here either, so. I guess I could put some coins in there and weigh him down, but he's like I said, he's pretty solid, you know? So solid. But this is probably the coolest figure that I've gotten in that damn near, what, not gonna say this year, probably within the last two months or so. Definitely cool as hell. I also did grab some manga. Along with that purchase, so we got on the five of Mentos Mission Volume One. So I'm guessing I didn't actually look through it, so I don't know what it is yet. But pretty sure it's like the first, the first mission of Mentos or whatever. Mentos is a long journey, you know. So got that to put in the shelf next to Joker. I also got Fairy Tail Manga, this volume six. You know what I'm saying? No. We have one more thing to show you guys. And this is something slight though, you feel me? But I just got done playing Xeno So you know, I had to get more Xenoblade merch. You feel me? Let's open this up. You guys can take a guess on what this is. The lucky seven, y'all. I didn't know how big this was gonna be. Either. I thought this was gonna be like, you know, like real miniature. This is actually a decent size. This is a keychain. 
So it's the Lucky 7 Keychain from Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And let's get this out the phone. They pack this is like nice packaging though for a keychain. Real nice. This thing ain't going nowhere. There you go. But yeah, we got the oh, this guy also got some weight on it too. You know what I'm saying? Good job, Xenoblade. Good job, Monolith. Hold on, y'all. There you go. Yes, sir, that lucky seven looking sexy. I'm not even gonna put this on my keys. I'm just gonna set this right next to Pyra, Mithra, and Amelia. Put it right in the shelf. Just lay it down. For all my other Xenoblade stuff. Oh, this is really cool though. This is like super detailed. I guess mono this is a monolith soft product, so they gonna make sure it look right. This is really cool. Really, really cool. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I do appreciate you guys watching and shout out to everybody who subscribed to the channel. Shout out to uh, all the view, the viewership, especially on my anime fear collection video. We reached about 8K views on that video, which is really crazy to me. <laughs> 8,000 of you would actually watch my videos. But hey, I I'm grateful for y'all. Like th that's that's amazing to see. That's a that's a sold out crowd right there. You feel me? <laughs> but um yeah thanks again for all the support you guys um make sure you guys follow me on my twitch uh, i denny htv on all platforms you got twitch follow me on instagram i denny htv and follow my instagram page for my photography at uh, daniel i humes um, i'm gonna link all the stuff in the description it's probably gonna pop up somewhere in the screen here that you guys can go ahead and check that out i'm really getting going hard on my photography stuff right now so you guys are into just like street photography, cool pictures, portraits, and stuff like that of that nature. Somewhere outside of the anime and gaming realm, you know, you follow that too. I really appreciate that. Um, you talk to me too. I mean, like I said, my DMs are open, so I mean, I'm usually on that account more than anything. So if you guys want to go ahead, talk anime, whatever, you know, I'm there. So, but anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video, and peace out.